The cleaning products industry is unfortunately self-regulated and so you know a lot of onus does fall on consumers to have to parse through sometimes really confusing marketing language to try to get to the bottom of are the ingredients of this product actually clean. Chemicals in cleaning products um, can be harmful to both human and environmental health. On the short-term side, a lot of these uh, more harmful ingredients can cause respiratory, skin, eye irritation, and on the long-term side, some of these ingredients have been known to be endocrine disruptors, impact on reproductive ability, um, as well as some of these chemicals have been linked to cancers, especially hormone-related cancers. I'd say harmful ingredients are parabens, phthalates, um, VOCs, as well as a bucket of disinfectants like bleach, chlorine, and ammonia. The VOCs that are being released into the air when you're sometimes cleaning using certain products, um, that can then be inhaled, go into your lungs, and from there also potentially enter your bloodstream. VOCs are volatile organic compounds, and cleaning products are chock full of these chemicals. Uh, these are chemicals that evaporate very quickly in your indoor spaces, and they can go indoors and outside as well. So these are linked to climate uh, pollution. They can form hazardous compounds when they mix with other chemicals that can be in your environment. There was a fascinating study on professional cleaners. So they studied professional cleaners in Europe over a 20 year period and they found that the lung function decline was equivalent to smoking 20 packs of cigarettes over that same period of time, over 20 years. Respiratory toxicity is significantly associated with the use of cleaning products. This is a very well established health impact from exposure to cleaning, uh, exposure to cleaning products and specific ingredients in cleaning products as well. So this affects all demographics, but those who are most at risk for respiratory impacts from cleaners are cleaning workers, those people who are working professionally with these products most frequently. A common misconception um, with cleaning products is that safe and sustainable cleaning products have to be all natural. There are certainly natural ingredients out there that can be irritating to your skin, to your respiratory systems, and also very harmful when ingested. So a good example, um, there are many of these types of ingredients in the essential oils category. So peppermint, uh, eucalyptus, tea tree oil, you wouldn't want to apply that to your skin and you certainly wouldn't want to ingest it. With Blue Land, you know, for example, we have a lavender eucalyptus hand soap. We don't use natural eucalyptus oil there. And one of the small times that we do go non-natural is when the natural component is known to be a irritant or a known allergen. My advice is really to look for the certifications. I think the certifications ensure that the claims that are being made um, have been verified by a certifying party. Cradle to Cradle, EPA Safer Choice, USDA Bio-Based, um, Climate Neutral, uh, EWG, Made Safe, um, those are some really great certifications to look for. When you're considering cleaning, consider that you're exposed to a heavy dose of pollutants every day through your personal care products, uh, through different household furnishings, things like carpeting, uh, things like paints. All of these chemicals are off-gassing and mixing in your environment. So do what you can to control the chemicals you're bringing in through your cleaning products. 